Imagine a TV that can turn 30 FPS games into 60 FPS. It has VRR, G-Sync, FreeSync, HDR, 4K, and 144Hz display on a QD OLED screen that has better clarity, brightness, and colors than a regular OLED display. Okay, now you can stop imagining that because it finally became a reality. This is the S95C, which is regarded as the ultimate TV for gaming and is also fantastic for viewing movies, TV shows, and sports, and pretty much anything else. This TV is of course not perfect and has its flaws, and we'll talk about all that later on in the review, so stick around. With 4K HDR at up to 144Hz, this TV will provide all of your gaming needs, especially for PC enthusiasts who want that extra frame rate. Whether it be PS5, Xbox, Nintendo, or even PC, this TV has it all. It is also my first time experiencing an OLED coming from an LCD screen. Keep in mind this is also a QD OLED, which for those unaware, it is the next generation of OLEDs, providing even higher brightness and color gamut output. So I'm going to tell you my experience with this TV and whether or not it's worth it to pick one up. This is my review of the S95. C by Samsung. Due to its very immediate response time, it produces motion that is crystal clear and leaves practically no noticeable blur behind moving objects. It also has a remarkably reduced input lag, which makes games much more immediate. And for the HDMI 2.1 enthusiasts that want the best of gaming on their PS5 and Xbox Series X, you'll be happy to hear that it has 4 HDMI 2.1 bandwidth connections, which help to fully utilize the new generation of consoles and offers a variety of advanced gaming features, such as VRR, G-Sync, and FreeSync. The HDR gaming quality provided by the Samsung S95C is outstanding. Low input lag and practically immediate response times makes gaming fluid and crisp. It offers cutting-edge gaming capabilities thanks to its high peak brightness and broad color gamut. HDR looks absolutely fantastic on this TV, and I would say easily one of if not the best looking TV you can buy right now if you're mainly focused on gaming. Now let's talk about it as a PC monitor. Although the S95C is an excellent TV for PC gaming, it is not as good of an option for desktop users. Yes, games are super super good looking, they are snappy and smooth with almost no distracting motion blur behind fast moving objects because it's almost immediate in the response times like I said. But we have to talk about burn-in. If you're using this as a PC monitor, you have to keep in mind that burn-in is very likely. QD OLEDs are even more likely to have burn-in than regular OLEDs, which is caused by the high brightness that they provide. So do keep in mind that if you're using this as a PC gaming monitor, there is a high chance that it might get burn-in depending on your use within just one year. So if you're buying this TV and you really want to use it as a PC monitor, I highly recommend you get at least a three-year warranty that covers burn-in. Okay, now let's talk about the thing that I'm most excited and impressed about regarding this TV. If you're playing a 30 FPS game or a game in its graphics mode instead of its performance mode, then you can enable the feature that is called Game Motion Plus. This mode will basically turn your games from 30 FPS to 60 FPS and from 60 FPS to potentially 120 FPS if you tweak some things. Now beforehand on the LG TVs, this feature also existed, but it also introduced a lot of input lag. According to reports, when you turn on Game Motion Plus, it adds over 60 milliseconds, which is a lot and definitely noticeable enough to be annoying in games, especially in shooters. On the other hand, in the TV Samsung S95C, the latency only increases by 10, meaning that you won't even notice any input lag even if you set it at level 2, which is the maximum level you can set for Game Motion Plus. So you can enjoy your 30 FPS games in practically 60 FPS without adding any noticeable input lag, and this for me was one of the greatest things about this TV. And to talk about the remote, I actually kinda love this remote. It is so small and has so little buttons, but that's because it doesn't need anything else. It makes the experience actually much better than I thought. A lot of people said that Samsung and their layout is overall clunky, but I have to disagree with this TV. It is so fast to just turn on the TV, and navigate through it. It has a few buttons that are essential for you. The only button that I wish they added in is the info button, 
I just wish they had a button that you press and you get the info about the output that your TV is displaying such as HDR, VRR, the frame rate and resolution. It would just make things a lot easier. So to summarize, if you want the best of the best and you're not worried about burn-in due to your usage, this might be the absolute best TV you can buy right now. The only reason why I have this over the G3 in terms of gaming is due to the G3 having an issue with game mode that when game mode is enabled, the brightness and color gamut drastically decreases. This is a known issue that hopefully LG will resolve soon. Nevertheless, the LG G3 and the Samsung S95C are currently two of the best TVs you can possibly buy. There is one more TV that hasn't been out yet, which is the Sony A95L. That TV is likely to be slightly better than the Samsung S95C and the LG G3. But do keep in mind, these three TVs will be very similar in quality. The A95L might be the king, but it also will be the most expensive. If you're really into gaming and you want the highest frame rates with the best colors, I will have to give that point to the S95C. But if you watch Dolby Vision a lot and you mainly use your TV as a movie watching machine, then get the LG G3, because currently the S95C doesn't have Dolby Vision, and Samsung doesn't have any plans to add Dolby Vision. I honestly never cared for Dolby Vision, but that's just because I don't watch movies or Netflix. I mainly use my TV for my gaming needs, and sometimes I watch YouTube videos while doing something in the background. So that was the review of the S95C. Do let me know in the comments down below, do you plan on buying this TV? If you do, I will reiterate that it is very important to get a warranty that covers burn-in for this TV. It will just give you the ease of mind that if something happens to the TV, you can always return it or fix it. Because this is a QD OLED, yes it is the highest of quality, but it's also the highest in terms of the likelihood of it getting burn-in. If I had to give a score for this TV, it is as close to a 10 as it gets. I do have to deduct some points, even though I don't use Dolby Vision, I know a lot of people do, and it is a big factor since a lot of movies use Dolby Vision. So I will have to deduct a point for that, as well as the quality control of Samsung. I mean, don't get me wrong, the quality control isn't that bad nowadays for Samsung, but it's just not on the level of LG and Sony. So that's another point deducted. I really can't think of anything else wrong with this TV. It is a near perfect TV. It is the best TV for gamers, no matter what you game on. Word of advice, if you're short on money, you can also get the previous version of this TV that came out a year ago called the S95B, which is very similar in terms of quality, but offers a little less brightness, 35% less to be exact. It also uses the older panel and doesn't come with the One Connect box, but it is much cheaper and a much better alternative for those who want to save some money. But if you want the absolute best, the S95C will not disappoint. Thank you for watching this review. It is my first review ever. So do let me know in the comments, do you want more content like this? Also subscribe to the channel. I upload every single day about all news related to gaming. Whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo, PC, or whatever, you will hear the most important gaming news right here on this channel every day. Thank you for watching. Please do leave a like if you enjoyed this video as it helps a lot with moving the channel upwards. Also subscribe if you're new to the channel and hit the bell notification icon to be notified every time I upload. Thanks again, I'll catch you next time.